iOS 15 will be released later this month, and while there are many interesting features coming to iOS 15, perhaps the most useful I've found, or the one I feel I've benefited the most from, is the noise isolation. Mind you, I did not expect much from this feature, but then one day, strolling around a very busy street with impatient people honking left and right, I get a call, and halfway through the call, I'm asked, where are you, home? I'm like, what, you mean to say you cannot hear all this noise? So that, of course, intrigued me, and I decided to run a few tests, and what do you know, the results were actually quite, quite impressive. So I decided to make this quick video and share that with you guys. By the way, the option to select noise isolation isn't always there. Funny enough, it does not pop up when you're on a regular call. I'm not sure if that will change with the final release of iOS 15 later this month, but for now I found that that option only appears on FaceTime calls, of course, and also on WhatsApp calls, and even on Facebook Messenger calls. It did not appear to pop up on Skype calls, however. So now I'm going to switch to my AirPods Pro and then toggle between noise isolation and the standard microphone so you can hear the difference. The AirPods Pro already do a fairly decent job at attenuating background noises, but this way you can see the extra benefit the software of iOS 15 is able to do in eliminating the background noises. So let's check that out. So this is what the AirPods Pro sound like in a quiet environment. The microphone mode right now is on standard. I will switch it to noise isolation or voice isolation. I don't think there's any discernible difference in a quiet environment, but let's see what happens in a noisy environment. So I'm going to play a simulated busy street. I'm going to start off with the standard microphone mode and then switch and toggle between standard and voice isolation. Keep in mind that the AirPods Pro already do a decent job at canceling the background noise, so I will also switch to the camera's microphone so you can get an idea on how loud the background noise is. So this is what the AirPods Pro sound like with simulated background noise. To give you an idea on how loud the noise is, I'm going to switch to the camera's onboard microphone. And now switching back to the AirPods Pro on the standard microphone mode. Now pay attention to what happens when I switch to voice isolation. So right now I am on voice isolation, the same background noise is still there, but as you can hear, the background noise is extremely reduced with voice isolation. Let's toggle back to the standard microphone mode. And this is again the standard microphone mode for the same background noise. One more time, let's go to voice isolation. And this is again voice isolation. Now let's turn on a noisy trigger in the background and see how well the voice isolation feature works on that. So this is what the noisy trigger sounds like on the standard microphone mode. As you can hear, it takes the AirPods Pro a few seconds before some noise cancellation kicks in. But now let's see what happens when we switch to voice isolation. And this is voice isolation switched on. The trigger is still on, and as you can hear. Most of the background noise is actually gone. I will remain silent so that you can hear what that sounds like. And now let's switch to the standard microphone mode. And as you can see, what we thought was great noise suppression in the VFX Pro actually fails in comparison to what the voice isolation feature of iOS 15 actually does. Let's go back to the voice isolation. And now again, the pair bar is still on with the voice isolation selected. Now let's simulate getting a phone call in a club with some loud music playing. What you probably don't realize is that the music is already playing, but we have voice isolation selected. Now let's switch to standard microphone. And this is standard microphone. Let's switch back to voice isolation to see just how much of the background noise it is canceling out. And this is voice isolation. I'm going to switch to the onboard camera microphone so that you can see how loud the music is. And now back to voice isolation right now. And now let's go to standard microphone on iOS 15. <laughs> So that's it for this quick video. I hope you found it beneficial. If you have, please hit the like button. And if you'd like to see more of this content, please subscribe to my channel as this encourages me to continue producing it. Until next time, cheers.